Hey, I'm Susan Berkeley from GreatVoice.com, and welcome to this week's edition of the Inside VoiceOver e-newsletter. And today I'm responding to a listener question about sibilance. What is sibilance? Uh, they're, they're suffering from it. They're wondering what to do about a hissing S. So this is an issue that almost everybody has. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just uh, a very, very common problem. And I just want to give you some, some strategies and some solutions for dealing with it. First, I want to say that it's an issue that women seem to suffer from more than men. What causes sibilance? Well, it has to do with two things. It can be caused by air escaping through your teeth or through gaps in your teeth, um, bad dental work, you know, or just, just the way your mouth is, the way you were born. Or it can also be caused by the way that you produce the letter S by your diction, the way that you're um, enunciating the letter S. So we're going to talk about that. And it can be caused by poor recording and by your microphone as well. So I've got a few solutions for you, a few things for you to try to see that if you can minimize the problem. The first is the microphone. So sometimes it's just a mic that isn't especially good for your voice. I have noticed, being a woman, and I have a little bit of sibilance too, that it sounds more worse on um, certain mics. So thing number one to try is to just test out some different microphones, see if the sibilance is reduced on that. The second is to visit your dentist. So if you have uh, had gum disease or maybe you have natural gaps in your teeth, there is a lot that the dentist can do to help you. They can bond, they can put, um, you know, those, those dental uh, veneers, I think it's called, to give you, you know, a whole new mouth, depending on how much you want to spend. Bonding is very inexpensive, I must say. It's painless, and it's something the dentist can do really, really quickly without Novocaine. So I'm a big fan of selective bonding to help close uh, certain large gaps in your smile, okay? Uh, the next thing is a de-esser. Now, what is a de-esser? A de-esser is a piece of gear or, or software, a plug-in, that will actually minimize the S sound. You do have to be careful because if you use too much of it, your S's will turn into TH and you'll have another problem. You'll sound like you're lisping. <laughs> you don't want to do that. So you can look into a de-esser, selectively used, that can help as well. And then the last thing you can try is some exercises. So I talked in the beginning about how a sibilant S can be caused by a poor, not poor diction, but you know, where you place your S. So it's actually a weak tongue. So you would do exercises with the letter T and the letter D. Just make a list of, of words that end in T and end in D and start in T and end in D and just say them over and over again, like to do, to do. You know, maybe if you practice, uh, say, 50 words a day with T's and D's, you will actually strengthen your tongue and be enunciating your S's better. So that's all. <laughs> Good luck with it. Let me know how you do. I'll be back next week with more Inside VoiceOver.